Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll explain why it's super important to test fuses and relays and not to just assume that a fuse is good or bad because that may cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Mustang that generation here from year 2015 to year 2023. If you have one of those, you have a problem where the car overheats, stay with us, we'll explain uh, which fuses relays you need to check and how bad fuses relays can actually make your car to overheat, guys. So all that will be covered today. In addition, uh, we'll explain where you can buy cheap fuses and relays from, that way don't waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything guys anything from engines transmissions bodywork why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this absolutely free information and if you guys need to buy any uh, replacement fuses relays because some of those could be really expensive at the parts store any parts any tools for your car check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so let's start on it now so here guys we're going to demonstrate on that 2018 ford mustang gt but even if you have a different uh, uh different engine it may help as well this is the fuse box that we need open it by pressing that notch you see the fuse numbers here and that layout specifically here guys corresponds to what we have here that's very convenient bad news you don't know guys what they're for so th well, that's why we're making that video to save you guys time and money it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you would lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so which fuses we need to check we need to check multiple fuses for radiator fans guys cooling fans and relays as well uh, first we're talking about fuse number three okay we're talking about that fuse right here a 30 amp fuse that's number three then you need to check fuse number four right next to it that's a 40 amp fuse so these two fuses will need to be checked okay for radiator fan uh, you will need to check guys one more fuse and that's fuse number 55 right here okay fuse number 55 will be that 25 amp fuse in our case you will need to check three relays and we're talking about relay 77 that's a relay okay right here talking about relay 89 this one here and relay 91 okay that relay these three relays that, that that okay these three relays that fuse and these two fuses hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time